today's session is basically me just going through and uh, hammering out all the sounds, the different instruments that I'm going to use. Mainly going to be strings, uh, maybe a couple of woodwinds. Percussion is always a good one to have. Those bowed cymbals work well in horror movies. So something that I really enjoy about working on horror movies is that there's no uh, set guideline that you have to follow or there's no like rules that you have to follow. It's meant to be chaotic and sound out of tune and just a disaster. I used to work on a lot of horror movies back in the day and so I used a lot of uh, broken instruments so to speak and I recorded those and uh, made a big mess. Anyways, I'm going to bust out the cello and uh, record a couple of samples and uh, we'll see how that turns out. Now I'm just randomly playing a bunch of stuff. Later on I'm going to go into my uh, software and then just kind of mangle the pieces together. Okay, so I put some of that into the score, tweaked some tunings, added some effects to it and everything. You might be able to hear a little bit of it. Really airy. Spooky stuff. Able to function now. I'm just going to go through and find the sounds that are going to inspire me, such as... So that's great to build the tense moments and the suspense. Let's try another, another one. Kind of sounds like the same thing. So I like these sounds where there's like a lot of movement and stuff like that. So that's that's good. So that's. Kind of where I'm going to go for like the underscoring part of it and then I'll start adding melody on top of it later. So I recorded a lot of these things yesterday and then I just kind of I went in and I separated them and then lined them up to picture and stuff. That's what I've been working on this morning. A hit that I created a while ago, I think that was a car door slam with a very light bowed cymbal on top of it. And like with one of these synthesizers where I use the pitch wheel and just kind of bend it. And that's all I use for that, uh, that scare and then as I go through it more of those string patches that we went over yesterday. It's about four o'clock, I don't know, four, oh, it's four eleven in the morning. Hold on, I gotta get my coffee. I didn't meet my deadline last night, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to bring that with me on a road trip that we have scheduled for this weekend. We're taking our daughter up to uh, visit the university that she's going to attend to next fall, and that's about seven hours north of where we are. So we're going to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Once we arrived in the town of Marquette, we were able to take in a few sights walking the town. Fortunately, the weather held up pretty well and the next day was spent touring the campus and experiencing life as a wildcat. Afterwards, we had some dinner and then hung out with some locals, experience a night known as the spectacle. After arriving back to our Airbnb, I was able to work for a little while. I was able to finish the mix and sent it off. I was also lucky enough to get hired onto another feature. We decided to head out early in the morning to beat the snow that was arriving in the afternoon. Looks like we made our exit just in time. Or not. <laughs> 